The white flag is raised. They're off in the Manny Power Champion hurdle over two miles and nine flights and in Sandwall, the first colours of honour J.P. McManus who bounds off into a near near lead from the dead to the so English runner. Honey Sucker third on the outside of the Rasso, the outside of the six of the start cap. Tiago is last with one on the back marker is Eggers Ray. Straighten them out in these early stages of Sandwalk, leading by a good six or seven legs from Adagio, who's three in front of Honey Sucker, fourth is Tiago, then the Rasso, and the back marker is Eggers Ray. Uphill they go at a good kick to the second flat. Sandborn Mark Walsh out in front of Adagio and Thomas Goodamore over in third place and gaining ground in the air. Honey Sutton and Rachel Blackmore and then Tiopo. Robbie Park's farewell ride and the Rasso and Luke Dempsey with the back marker. It was the rain and Paul Town rising to flight number three. Little changes in the order up and over in front of Sandborn, followed by Adagio. Third place is Honey Sutton and then the nose man and Tiopo with the final couple. Down for the fourth flight to Rasso and Eclipse Red. Good run before they reach the fourth. Ten furlongs from the finish. And then Sandbop continually clear of the dead Joe, Honey Suck, Tioko, Durasso, and Eclipse Red. Reaching flight number four, taking them into the back straight. And then Sandbop skimming over from Honey Suck, who joins the dead Joe for the second spot. Five lengths to Tioko. Legs in front of the back pair, the Rasso and Eggers and Ray. Sandwall's lead has been greatly reduced by Honey Sucker, heading for the second penny car champion hurdle, having retained her title in champion, preserving her flawless record of 15 runs and 15 wins. Sandwall hit the top of that, survived. Honey Sucker on the outside of a dead job, then Tioko, the Rasso and Eggers and Ray. Racing towards the seven furlong point. Four flights left to jump. And it's Sandboy yet to be ahead. Poised in second, the light blue white jacket. Here's the ultimate favorite, Honey Sucker. Adagio has lost third to Diopo and then Durasso and Echoes and Red. Not as strung out as they were at an earlier point. Heading towards the five mark with three flights to jump. Sandboy Mark Watch by two lengths to Honey Sucker and Rachel Blackmore. Disputing third place, Tioko Robbie Power on the outside of Adagio, judged along by Tom Scudamore and then Durasso, Luke Dempsey and company with Eggles and Rain and Paul Town and they come towards the third last flight. And at San Juan, boys, there's Honey Sutton as they face up to this third last. And Tioko who put down there for Robbie Power on the inside is Adagio, Eggles and Rain run against Durasso to be the man mark and they're heading for the second last. It's San Juan from Honey Sutton as they jump the second last, two and a half lengths between them, and then Adagio, Eccles and Rain makes ground on the outside of Tiapo and then Durasso. Good run to the final flight in the Penny Bar Champion hurdle. San Juan is joined on the turn by Honey Sutton. Three lengths off them in third is Eccles and Rain on the run of the final flight. Honey Sutton strikes for home. San Juan second, Eccles and Rain still runs on on the outside, then Adagio, Durasso and Tiapo, but out in front of the field is Honey Sutton and Rachel Blackmore, Eccles and Rain has moved off after the mare. The final fly, Honey Sucker over from Eccles and Rain and Sandra. 50 yards left to go. It's Honey Sucker and Rachel Blackmore racing for the jewel. Make it a staggering sweet 16 in the Happy Heart Champion. Eccles and Rain second with the rest of Sandra and Dancho. And Tio Pum and Rocky Power on his final ride with the men wishing Robbie a great, great horseman, all the best, and he's retired. Well done. Just, just take me through it. Were you ever worried? Uh, no, look, I, I know, you know, I've ridden her enough now. I know what she's capable of, and look, it took me a few strides to, to get her going, turning in. But yeah, like I, I, I was never that worried to be honest. I, I, I know the engine she has. It was, it was amazing watching it. There was, a, I think, everyone was just so nervous because you don't want 
the incredible talent that she is. You, you don't want her to get beat. And what I loved was the way she just poured it on after the last. She just sprinted away from this. Oh, look, she's incredibly talented. Like, it's... I, I'm just so lucky to be on her back. Um, Henry's lucky to be trainer, Kenny to own her. Like, we're all lucky to be part of what she is. She's a phenomenally talented um, mayor. And, uh, yeah, like, she always does what she has to do. And, um, you know, th that's, what, that's, that's just an incredible uh, feat in any horse. It's amazing to think of what she's taken in. She's never ducked anything. She's won so many grade ones now. She's un unbeaten, a horse unbeaten over jumps. It's, can you, could, did you ever expect you could have an association with a horse like this? No, like, you know, as a jockey, you, you dream of getting on a good horse. Like, that's what every jockey wants. You know, you, you can't achieve things on the big days without that. But, but she takes that to a whole other level. You know, she's a... Uh, she just takes, you know, she blows good horse out of the water. Like, she's just phenomenal. And, uh, yeah, very lucky to be riding her. What, what's she like? Is she, she always looks very chilled. Is, is that just her? Or, or is there any fizz about her or anything like that? Uh, in the stable, look, you know, Henry's probably said before, like, she can, she can be grumpy in the stable and that kind of thing. But, uh, look, you know, the lads down in Akeen do a great job with her. Um, Coleman, who rides her out every day and leads her up, he, he knows her very well. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a good team at home is what, what make these days so, so good. And, 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 you know, it's very important to have that. What was it like coming back into this reception? Oh, like it was magic, like they were, you know, s such a deep crowd the whole way walking back in and uh, oh, like it's just fantastic. Delighted for you and all, all the connections. Well done, Rachel. Thank you, thank you. I'm really delighted and I think safely to say a relieved Henry de Bromhead, honeysuckle trainer. Many congratulations, well done. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, unbelievable. Uh, just, you know, it's, uh, you wonder can the fairy tale continue and, and it does and uh, just, yeah, relieved. Yeah, yeah, just kept saying I wanted them back in one piece and... Uh, and anything after that was a bonus, but obviously you'd, you'd love to be winning as well. Slight bit of a scare tree out, came up out of uh, yeah. Rachel's hands, the whole crowd went, ooh, yeah, we yeah, all yeah. gasped. Yeah. We, were all, we were all the same, we just wanted her back at one yeah, point. I know, yeah, it's amazing, the support, like, if Goodwill could win races, uh, she, she, she'd win them by the length of the streets, you know, uh, people willing her to win. It was incredible walking around here, and yeah, it just feels so lucky to be involved with her. Henry, she got clap coming into the parade and she got clap going out of the parade and she got roared coming back into the parade. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing, like the crowd here and, you know, herself and Rachel, they're such a brilliant combination. They're, you know, I'm very lucky to be involved with it all, but they're brilliant for racing and, and um, you know, that's this is what it's all about. It's incredible. Unbeaten in 16 runs, 12 grade ones. Did you ever imagine when you got this filly first what she was going to do now? God, no, you know, like, you, you know, no, you wouldn't dream of it. Like, I'd say, you know, she's a horse of a lifetime. She's just, she she just is. And uh, she's just an incredible mare, like, and, and she can always turn up, you know, and, and, and uh, you know, like, you can set your clock by her, the, the races she runs in, you know, it's incredible. Henry, we were just saying in the pre parade room, we looked at her firstly, how much condition she had on her. She looked fantastic, looking like she was having her first run of the season. Yeah. Takes everything in her stride. She's a pure professional, great constitution. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I got a bit of a fright when I saw the weights list on uh, on Monday. <laughs> she had just gone up a little bit on me, so um, uh, so I daren't ask uh, Coleman what she weighed going on the lorry. To, I was about to ask him. I said, Do you know what? We'll just uh, we'll just leave that. So yeah, she was she's really blooming there now, you know, in this weather and whatever. So uh, she was thriving. So a little bit heavier than normal, I'd say. But um, look, she got the job done. And Henry, do you feel you? Are you under more pressure each time this filly run? Do you put yourself under more pressure? Because it's not just the weight of racing, it's the weight of the country that's on your shoulders now with this filly. She's that, everybody has just cottoned onto the honeysuckle, right? Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, yeah, of course, you know, it, it, like, like I say, I, you know, I tell myself I'd just love her back in one piece. Um, but, you know, of course you want to win. Um, but like one day we're probably going to have to accept being beaten. But at the moment, as I say, the fairy tale continues. Peter Maloney, obviously, bought a racing manager, he bought this filly here at the Goffs uh, Punchestown sale quite a number of years ago. Now Kenny Alexander is not here this afternoon. Yeah, sadly not. Uh, Kenny got, uh, wasn't able to make it. But, yeah, Peter's brilliant. You know, they're brilliant to deal with. They just leave, you know, it's just very easy and, and, and um, yeah, very lucky to, you know, uh, to have them. She'll be back to Peter Maloney's now, I'd imagine, in the next week or two for well-earned summer holidays in Ratmore. Yep, definitely. She'll go home in the next week or so. And um, and then hopefully we'll get her back in August. Good stuff, Ian, to be back here for the Morgiana. 
No, I, it usually Hatton's Sorry, Grace. Hatton's yeah, Grace. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll head to Ferry Port Peter Row. It's his heart Apologies. missed a beat there. Um, I'd say, yeah, uh, you know, we'll see. Uh, hopefully, if everything goes right, uh, it's a long way away. You know, we'll enjoy today. Enjoy today, Henry. Many congratulations. Well done. Thanks. Thanks, Kevin. Brilliant.